guys, how's it going? It's Lindsay Bell and I am here doing my first Wedding Wednesday video. Wedding Wednesday was an idea that came to me right after Brian and I got engaged. I didn't ask Lindsay and I was thinking how cool would it be if we did just one day a week where we talked about wedding stuff. So here I am, my first Wedding Wednesday and the title, if you look, it says how to plan a wedding. And here's the thing, I feel like some people will look at that and think, ooh, tutorial on how to plan a wedding. But it's legit just a question. How do you plan a wedding? And that's what stage I am at in this whole planning process because how it's so big and it's such a it, it's so much and you know you know that obviously I knew that it's like well it's a huge party with potentially a lot of people and a lot of food and there's a lot that goes into it and it's expensive but until you really start breaking it down and talking to people and talking to family members and making a guest list you just don't even comprehend so the theme of today's wedding Wednesday is how, how did you plan? If you've done a wedding, if you're a planner, if you've even had a friend that you helped plan a wedding for, give us your tips, give us, share your knowledge, share your gift. So today's video, I'm just gonna talk about kind of where I stand on the wedding right now, the planning process, and then just a lot of questions. Hopefully you guys can respond in the comments. I'll also put some surveys, they're up here, the little eyes. Go ahead and press that. If there's a question and you have an answer or you don't or you feel like having the answer, go ahead and, I don't know, answer the survey question. Go for it, I would love that. So here we go, wedding Wednesday number one, how to plan a wedding, question mark? <laughs> One of the first things I did after Brian and I got engaged and like came down from this whole thought process of like, okay, now we're gonna have a wedding, here we go, was to download the Knot app. I feel like it's just the one that's the most out there and it kind of takes you through the process. There's like little checklists of like what you should be doing month by month, depending on when you plan on having the wedding, things that you should be completing in that time frame. It's pretty helpful. I looked at it and I kind of have an idea of wanting to have a fall wedding, so I just put like the first, Saturday in November as the day that we would do it. That's not set in stone, but I put that. So then you go through the checklist and there's things like start saving wedding dress photos, start a favorites board on Pinterest. And that's all fine and dandy. I appreciate that. But is there something better that you guys use? Did you use the Wedding Wire app? Did you get like a planner? I'm super OCD. I love planning. So kind of the more things that I can bring into my life that help me stay organized, the better. Did you use the knot? Did you love it? Beyond that, I've started a wedding board, like it said, on Pinterest. You can follow it if you want to. Pinterest.com slash Lindsay B. Bell. I have a secret board that's wedding dresses because... I didn't want Brian to see them, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'd rather like share them with you guys and ask your opinion. Obviously, I'm gonna get the one that I feel like looks best on me, but I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on what you think of the styles. In my mind, I want something mermaid-y because I'm a mermaid, so something that's like sleek with a nice like small train, nothing crazy, because we'll probably be outdoors. I like these lace ones. Grace Love Lace is one of my favorite designers um, of like kind of the lace dresses. These are a few of my favorites. But then I also found some more that were like more sleek. These couple of beaded ones. I've been thinking back a lot to the weddings that I've been to and Jenny Clark's dress, Travis's wife, her dress sticks out to me as something that I really loved because it was so streamlined and clean and simple. And I love that about her because that's what type of person she is. I loved her dress, so these are kind of the inspiration that I'm going with. We're also doing the guest list, which is overwhelming because Brian and I have huge families. Legitimately 150 family members are pretty much on this guest list now. And that doesn't even include friends, really. That's just our blood relatives. So it's turning out to be something that's a little bit bigger than probably we anticipated. I guess my thought process is there, do you just go for it? I mean, did anyone else have a really big wedding because they have such huge families? And the other thing is, how do you cut costs on a wedding that big? I mean, essentially probably 200, 250 people. And I want them to have a good time. I want them to eat some food. I'd love for people to have 
a nice little cocktail. But how do you afford that for that many people? I'm really lucky because I know my parents would like to help, but I'm also 31 years old and I don't think that's a lot to ask of them to throw this giant party for me. So where kind of do you meet halfway in cutting costs and doing things that are meaningful to people so they have a good time but also affordable? And then kind of the last thing that I've been thinking about is a planner. Did a lot of you have a planner? Did you not have a planner? I think keeping in mind just how many people we are planning on having is why the thought process goes through my mind. I feel like it just adds a lot of knowledge that I don't have because I don't plan events like this all the time. So kind of summing it all up, what were your greatest assets when it came to planning? What style dress do you love? How do you create a guest list and then stay on top of it and make it affordable? And with all of those things, would you use a planner if you had the ability to? And I guess the last thing that I wanna make sure that I mention, and I wanna remember it as much as possible through this whole process, is that it's not the wedding, it's not this big party, yeah, it's so much fun and it's great to celebrate our future together, but it's really the marriage and that's what I want to remember as kind of the most important part is yes, the planning's fun. I love dresses. I love throwing parties. I love the fashion and the beauty of it all and my little Pinterest boards. But in the long run, the fact that I get to be married to Brian is so much more important than any any of this other stuff that goes into it. The celebration is wonderful. I'm excited to be with all of my family and kind of start this new chapter in our lives with all of them. So I guess that's wedding Wednesday number one. I'm super excited. It's a very crazy and exciting time. If you have people that you loved following on Pinterest or people that you followed on YouTube to get tips from, please put them in the description. I would love to check out anybody who's more knowledgeable in any of this because I'm feeling very novice at it. I'm <laughs> very out of my element because I'm so used to knowing what I'm doing and in this case, I just, I don't. I'm learning, learning every step of the way. I'm glad we're starting it. It feels like planning and being on top of what I'm doing is the best way to kind of tackle it and make sure that the last couple of months, even though they're crazy, will be a lot easier because we're prepared and I'm ready. So that's what we're gonna do. There will be a new vlog up tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you ahead of time for all your tips, tricks, and knowledge. I appreciate it more than you can ever know. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.